Okay, so we're going to be using binomial radical expressions, which means there's going to be two terms, um, possibly with radicals, and this rule determines whether you can add or subtract the radicals, and, and the only way you can add or subtract the radicals is if they're the exact same radical, the same root, same index, and the same radicand, meaning the same number on the inside or same term on the inside of the radical. Um, and all you're going to do is add them similar to like terms. Just if, like if you were adding 5x plus 3x, you, that becomes 8x. 5 plus 3 is 8, and then you keep the same radical. That, um, that term, that like term would stay the same. So here's a couple examples. So here are a couple examples of adding and subtracting. Okay, so for this first one, 3 squared of 5x minus 2 squared of 5x. Well, because they're both square root of 5x and those are exactly the same, that means I can't add them. And all I'm going to do is 3 minus 2 times the square root of 5x. That like term stays the same. So that's going to become 1 square root of 5x. This next one, 6x squared times square root of 7 plus 4x times square root of 5. Well, because these radicals are not the same, I cannot combine them. And this last one, 12 times cube root of 7xy plus 8 times cube root of 7xy. Well, they're both cube root of 7xy, so I can add them, and I would have 12 plus 8, and that radical is going to stay the same. So that becomes 20 times cube root of 7xy. There's going to be some that don't look like they can combine, but they actually do. Um, and for this, whenever you're combining them, always check to see if they can simplify or not. So, like for this 12, if you do the birthday cake, I get a 2 and a 6, 2 times 3, 3 times 1. And I'll do the factor tree for 75, I get 3 times 25, 5 times 5. So what the square root of 12 becomes, I have a pair of 2's and it's a square root so I'm only looking for pairs. I have 2 times the square root of 3 this becomes 5 times the square root of 3 and now my radicals are the same so if you want to think of it 2 square roots of 3 plus 5 square roots of 3 you add the 2 and the 5 and I get 7 square root of 3 and then we have multiplying um, and so you may have some binomials that are multiplying so 4 plus 2 squared of 2 times 5 plus 4 squared of 2 4 squared root of 2 and this is a binomial so I'm going to distribute twice or FOIL 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 4 square root of 2. I can multiply those, but I can only multiply this 4 with what's on the outside. I can't multiply it with what's on the inside. So that's going to be 16 square root of 2. This becomes 5 times 2 square root of 2. I can only multiply that 5 with the 2 because they're on the outside. Two, 10 square root of 2. And then I have 2 square root of 2 times 4 square root of 2, and I multiply the 2 on the outside, that's going to be 8, and then multiply the 2 on the inside, that's going to become 2 times 2 is 4. Squeeze that in there. Um, now I'm going to look to simplify. So I have 20, that can't combine with anything yet. These two are like terms, they're both square root of 2, so they can combine and that becomes 16 plus 10 so that's going to be 26 square root of 2 and actually this can simplify as well this last one 
So this last one simplifies the square root of 4 becomes 2. So it's 8 times 2. And so I have 20 plus 26 square root of 2. And that's going to become plus 16. And now the 20 and the 16 can combine. And that becomes 36 plus 26 square root of 2. Now I cannot combine the 36 with the 26 here because this 26 has that square root of 2, if I can get it to write, there it goes. Um, so I can't simplify those, that's it. So for this one, one more. Uh, I'm going to multiply twice, distribute twice, FOIL, whatever. I have 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times square root of 7. This 5 times negative square root of 7, I'm going to write that negative 5 square root of 7 because it's really 5 times negative 1 times the square root of 7. And then negative square root of 7 times square root of 7, positive times a negative is a negative. 7 times 7 is 49. And I can multiply those because they're both inside the radical. And then simplify the 2... Oh, I wrote square root of 3 there, but that should be square root of 7. The 2 in the middle are going to be able to combine. They're the same radical. So that's going to be 3 minus 5 is negative 2 square root of 7. I still have this 15 out in front. So it's 15 minus 2 square root of 7. And then minus square root of 49, which becomes 7. And 15 and negative 7 combine to be positive 8. Minus 2 square root of 7. And that is my simplified form. Okay, that's all the examples. I have a couple of you try problems for um, you to try on your own. Go ahead and, and do these the best you can. And that way you have one under your belt one of each under your belt before you come to class and, and we can go over these and um, fix it any mistakes that you might make for the assignment okay here you go and I'll have the answers for you in class I've got a joke in a second alright when is fishing not a good way to relax when you're the worm <laughs> <laughs>